hi welcome to my channel i'm here to give you tip on how you can erase your android phone when it is stolen when you don't have access to it you know uh, so i'm going to use this illustration as an example one day i was coming back from work and my phone was actually stolen i got home 45 minutes later i logged into my laptop and the reason is because i have my google account already on my laptop the same Google account I have on my phone, which I used to set up my phone. This makes it easy for me to access the phone through what we call Google Find My Device. And these are the benefits of uh, Google Find My Device. Like if your phone is missing, you cannot find the location of your phone, wherever it is. You can, number one, you can play a sound like a ringing tone. So wherever your phone is, it will start ringing. Even if the phone is on silent, it will certainly start ringing for at least five minutes so the second thing you can do is that you can lock your device you know maybe by adventure your phone falls into a wrong gun and probably they've unlocked it you know with the secure device you can lock the phone wherever you are so and it's going to sign out your google account immediately so that will also provide some kind of privacy but if you do this remember you won't be able to locate the device anymore because the moment you remove your google account from that phone you won't be able to access it again because the google find my device will not be active anymore so the other things you can do is erase the content from the device you know so this will remove all the content on the device and it's going to reset it like you know factory defaults as if you are just buying it fresh uh, so i went to google find my device and i was able to see my phone i saw the location um, the main purpose of me accessing it is so I can really uh, erase it because I don't want them to have access to my information. I discovered that they're already operating on the phone. They're already logging into my mobile app, you know, doing all sorts of things, doing recharge and all that. So what I did was I locked the phone first, so meaning that when I locked it, I locked them out. They were not able to do anything on the phone. So the next thing I did was to erase all my data on the phone, you know, just to reset the phone. So I was able to achieve this, you know, but two things to learn from this. Number one, it is always advisable that you lock your SIM card, you know. Unfortunately, I did not put PIN on my SIM card. So because of that, they were able to remove the SIM from the phone and put on another phone. So now they were able to transfer because they made, you know, in the course of maybe trying to know my balance, they recharge my own line with a time of 20,000 naira. So that is the only thing they were able to transfer out, you understand? So it is always advisable that you lock your SIM card, you know. The next thing you ensure you do is to make sure that you don't just have your Google account um, on one device, maybe only your phone. Ensure you have it in any other device, you know, for reasons like this, because most time, when you are trying to log in on a new device, it will ask you for some certain things, because most of us use what we call uh, two-way authentication. So it might still be the same phone that needs to grant you access. It might still be the same phone that, you know, SMS will be sent before you can log in. If you activated two-way authentication, ensure you have another device you know where your google account is logged in so with that you'll be able to access your phone through what we call google find my device if you have any other question you can drop it on the comment section ensure you subscribe to my youtube channel thank you